Damn, the tournament is back already. I got a full TUR team. Look at this. Full. Everyone here is 120. Don't, don't mind this guy. Don't Just don't pay attention to him. Full TUR. The only reason I didn't TUR him yet is because I didn't get him to SA10. I want to get him to SA10. I have 20 Gohans in my box, but I don't have enough medals. And as depressing as that is, there's even some fucking even more depressing, bro. I somehow managed to fucking play like one match. I got to the end, and I got fucking nuked by Majin Vegeta because I wasn't paying attention, so. You know, we all make mistakes, you know? You gotta live, you gotta learn. Holy shit, there's actually a Broly here. Wow, there's actually one Broly. It's my friend, though. Fuck. I can only use him once a day. Uh, I'm surprised there's a Broly here because ever since fucking Ultimate Gohan came out, right? He's the first, like, plus three key leader that wasn't Gogeta. And then now what came out recently is this guy right here. Ya boy, Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta, which, by the way, I pulled from the last world tournament, and fucking, it made that world tournament worth it. And as you can see, I got a Ghost Touch here, because I ain't, I ain't finna go down like a bitch like I did before with fucking Majin Vegeta. That piece of shit really wrecked my shit. But, yeah, it's kinda, I'm surprised I got that Broly. That's fucking nice. That's sexy as hell. And it's, I don't know, dude, I'm fucking, I'm kinda depressed, because I really would like to participate in this tournament, but... I got a nice, hot midterm this Monday, and I think I'm going to take one. Wow, what a piece of shit he avoided me. I'm going to probably take this entire weekend just to study for that, as well as do some linear algebra homework, as well as fucking kill myself because Gogeta just got... What the fuck, dude? Uh, and do some database. Fuck, dude. I'm getting drained. Like, one thing that ever since last semester that's really, really been fucking annoying is that how well... Jutsu syncs up like for example I'll keep these two together for example uh, I had a midterm this Wednesday I had a paper due this Wednesday and I also had a project a programming project due this Wednesday as well as on top fuck as well oh my god oh my god and then I also had some homework due today fuck bro I don't get it. I don't like college, bro. It's too much work. I just want to stay home and do nothing. Like, isn't that a fucking marketable skill? Can't I just sit on my ass and do nothing? Fuck, bro. But, eh, it's alright. I mean, uh, one, th one thing that I've definitely learned in college, other than the fact that I'm a cuck, is uh, just how, how much fucking work you need to do just to just, just to fucking be, like, legitimized. Like, what's jutsu? When, one thing that I... I think a misconception I made about college... Do I have any pores? Fuck, I don't have any pores. Jesus Christ. Uh, one misconception I've definitely made about college is that... I wanted to... into. First of all, I didn't want to go to college. As a kid, I never wanted to go. I was always against it. Um, I don't know. It's just, it's just one of those things when you're a kid, you're a fucking idiot. And you think that some way, somehow, you're not going to go to college and somehow still make money of some sort. Which, you know, you can, but... It's, college is like, it's a good stepping stone. It's at least something, it's good to have. Even if you were to get a degree and technically not get a job in that field, you still have, there's so many jobs where they hire you just because you have a bachelor's degree. You could major in fucking criminal justice, psychology, or fucking woman studies, and they'll still fucking be waiting for you to apply to the job, and they'll like suck your dick just because you have a bachelor's degree. At least to some degree. Honestly, in this country, the way the education system has evolved, uh, what it was in the, I'd say, 60s, 70s era was a high school degree. If you had a high school degree, you were kind of good for a job. Now, if you don't have a bachelor's degree, I don't know where the fuck you're going to work, dude. Like, that's... I mean, you could... Yeah, it's not to say that it's impossible, but the way the industries have evolved, the way that jobs are, I mean, it's just over time, jobs are, were purposefully made so that you need more education. For example, um... It used to be that in order to become a lawyer, you would just go to fucking like a foof doof school and become a lawyer. You never needed to go to college. Same thing goes for, um, I think judges too. You never really needed to be a, oh, fuck, who should I attack? Jesus. Uh, you never needed to go to college, but then, you know, they make you to go to college. Yeah, you do learn more. You have a better understanding. Uh, but it is, you know, just to some degree kind of to raise the standards, I mean, just, like, you, you go back to the fucking, um, Great Depression era, and they were trying to make workers have some type of a basic education, just so they can understand the job more than high school, than college, pretty soon, 
You're going to need a fucking master's degree just to get in the door at McDonald's. That's what I'm, that's the point I'm trying to get at. But, uh, you know, like one thing I've learned at college that it is good to get good grades, which I do. I have some fucking stellar grades just because it's mostly because of the fact that I have autism. But, you know, I work hard, too. That, that factors in. But my Asperger's really helps. Uh, but it's like it's like once you choose a major, especially a major that's science based or based or math based. It's just, it's like, you gotta be in a deep fucking genjutsu, like, like, for, like, I chose computer science, and, I, yeah, code monkey, like, there's people out there, like, I don't, I don't know how widespread this is, but, like, I browse G, I browse Psy, mostly G, bro, they're like, young code monkey, bro, you're a fuckboy code monkey, computer science, that's not a real science, pseudoscience, boy, E E is where it's at, and then when people say E E, that's when niggas come out and they go, oh, nigga, mechanical engineer only. And then the nuclear, or not the nuclear, the uh, chemical engineers, and like, nigga, get the fuck out of here. So everyone thinks they're better than everyone else, and my my self esteem is so low. I'm like, all right, you tell me what major to go for, and I'll go for it. But it's really one thing. I, if I could go back in time and tell myself something, it probably would be to pick a major quicker. Because I picked my major kind of, not late, late, but I pretty much picked my major at the last second you could pick it and still graduate in time, uh, which was the either beginning or tail end, it had to be beginning of my sophomore year. Uh, it's not terrible. The thing is that when you if you pick a major early, there's two big advantages that I think is really fucking good. One is the fact that you have your major earlier, so you can start doing certain classes earlier. And because you're doing those classes earlier, you can apply for internships and certain jobs earlier. You don't have to kind of wait until you're a junior or even a senior to get, like, your first internship or job that relates to that field. And by the way, most, well, at least for computer science, uh, if you know something yourself, that helps put it on your resume. And that's the thing, like, that. that's one thing that gave me low self-esteem. Well, wait, let me say the other thing. The other thing that's good is if you declare your major earlier, niggas hit you up with, with scholarships. Wait, like, I didn't, like, when I went to college, like, my GPA was always good, but no one ever emailed me and was like, yo, bro, I want a scholarship. Once I declared my computer science major, they're like, yo, bro, yo, here's a thousand dollars, bro. Just write an essay, bro, for fucking sciences or whatever. And I'm like, oh, shit, I'm like, what the fuck? So if you declare your major earlier, then you get scholarships early at least specific scholarships uh and it helps to have good grades i think the benchmark is like 3.0 or 3.5 i'm sitting at a high 3.8 i'm praying to god i can get another fucking ace this semester that way i could finally hit that 3.9 status but you know you never know bro i'm taking fucking intensive programming linux and that shit is gonna nuke my mind and uh fuck what was i gonna say uh oh yeah for my major a lot of people like niggas like, I, I picked this major software year college. I know friends of mine, they're like, yo, bro, you should do computer science, you should do programming. One of my friends, he, he sold GP in RuneScape. Like, he low-key was a fucking, he was slanging that GP in RuneScape. And he's like, yo, bro, make JavaScripts. Make them for me, and you'll make good money, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, nigga, it's high school. I don't want to do shit. That's, that's another thing. In high school, you're supposed to do, like, X amount of community service hours. And I was low, for that, I was like, you know what was weird? I think you need to do 80 hours. I actually did a lot of compu community service, but I don't think I ever wrote it down. I never gave a shit. I was like, I was like, fuck it, bro. I'll help this nigga out. I ain't saying shit, though. Eat ass. And I was like, I was like, fuck it. So I didn't really have that much community service. So when I went to like apply for um, college, they were like, yo, bro, no community service. And I'm like, fuck that. But they saw my high school GPA and they're like, all right, bro. Man, all right, bro. I see you, bro. I see you over there. So I was happy I was able to slide in. That's low-key what I'm doing with college right now. I'm going for my senior year, bro. And I have zero, zero, well, yeah, zero work experience. Like, no, nothing in the major. It's just, I, I just, I don't know. It's a, like, this is how it is. I started my major, like, late, sophomore year. And, I mean, it's kind of late. And by the time I got to my, like, just junior year by that that first summer i couldn't really apply to anything like knowing like what the fuck like i know java i know how to fucking 
what what like I barely knew data structures. I, I just got introduced, so I was in Jutsu. I'm like, yo, man, uh, I'll write Hello World for you, bro. Just hire me, boy. I need that internship. Uh, and then I think the, a good time would have would have been for internships probably this summer because I was a little more comfortable. I knew more, but I don't know. I was I was planning on going overseas and then fucking you know fucking terrorism and everything else and then I ended up not going and I was like fuck this drained the shit out of me and it's just I don't I mean I finally went to um I don't know last semester one of my friends he's like yo bro you gotta go to a career fair you go to a career fair bro get the cuck it up bro you got a better chance at a job and last semester fuck bro last semester I got super drained it was a differential equations exam and it basically was, like, from, like, 1 to 3, and the career fair was from, like, 12 to 4. So by the time I'm done with the exam, it's already, like, quarter after 3. Like, there's no... If you don't have at least two hours to dedicate to the career fair, there's no reason to go. And it was just juicy. But I went yesterday. I think it was yesterday. Fuck it. Sometime this week I went, and I was cucking it up, bro. I was like, you know, bro. You, and it wasn't really geared for my major. It was more so for business majors. But I went anyway. I'm like, fuck it, bro. I don't give a shit. I don't give a fuck if this is for just medical students. I'm fucking going, and I'm going to tell them my major, and I'm going to say, give me a job, nigga, I need it. Uh, but, you know, it's just good to go there and network. That's what you hear a lot in college. Network. You need to network. Get, get your name out there. You know, people know who you are. What, what's going on? And it's like, get translation, go out there and start. <laughs> get, on, get on your knees and start stalking, boy. But uh, it's all right. It's, it's not that bad, honestly. I was pretty intimidated just going there because it's you're you're in an environment where your main goal is for people to like you and you feel that pressure. But honestly, yesterday, like I was feeling like I was nervous and then I was like, ah, fuck, who gives a fuck, bro? Like I said to myself, I'm like, if I don't go, nothing happens. If I do go and if they don't like me, then still nothing happens. Like, who gives a shit? Nothing's happening. Fuck it. Let's go. So I went, uh, a couple of employers were like, all right, okay, okay, bro. One guy, bro, gave me energy, bro. This guy's like, like this nigga lifted me up. He's like, yo, bro. So my resume, he's like, yo, bro, nigga, your GPA is high as fuck, bro. And you got the computer science majors now. And it's like, this is a good man. And I have a minor mathematics. He's like, this mathematics? And you have, and I had like a personal project. He's like, well, oh my god, bro, this is amazing. I'm like, yo, bro, what am I gonna do? I'm, it's hard being me, bro. I'm fucking amazing. What am I gonna do? And he's like, yo, bro, this is good, bro. I'm gonna hook you up, bro. Here, here's my card. Here's this other person's card. But look at the jobs apply. And I, I like they recommend when you talk to someone at career fair, the email and say thank you just so they remember you. So I emailed them like I'm that nigga with the computer science degree because everyone else there was like business majors. But it, it is what it is. So there you go. There's my first and probably only win in this tournament. I don't know if I'm going to participate. I think, I yeah, nah. As much as I'd like to have that cooler, I'm probably just going to go into fucking Aizanami. And if I don't kill myself by Monday, maybe I'll slide in with 10,000 IDK, bro. But uh, uh, I'm, glad, I'm glad I was able to... Uh, what was I what was I talking about?